what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel and if you're new here please hit that like button subscribe and uh, consider clicking that bell it helps out the channel a ton and especially if you like this type of content we cover a lot of reviews and uh, we react to trailers we review movies ourselves here video essays stuff to do with pop culture a lot of that so if you like any of that please consider doing those three it helps out the channel a ton and it's it's free you know it costs no money but um today we are covering more reactions from uh, early screenings or a premiere and this one happens to be for ultraman rising which is an upcoming netflix film based on ultraman very popular character over the course of decades and uh, this is an animated movie but, um, you know, this is a character that has spanned many years and, and, you know, a lot of people know. So I thought covering this, maybe you're an Ultraman fan or maybe you're getting into Ultraman. And uh, from what I hear, this sounds fantastic. So uh, let's go ahead and cover these reactions. The first one we have comes from Lights Camera Jackson saying, Ultraman Rising is visually breathtaking, emotionally grounded and has feel and flavor of a live action movie this will be a big hit for netflix i really hope so i'd love for this to be successful and uh, hopefully it is but the next one we have comes from any i'm so sorry if i'm mispronouncing that but they say got to sit in on an early screening of ultraman rising a couple weeks ago and had one of my best cinema outings of the year I didn't know much about the IP or the story, and I ended up being so surprised by how much heart the film held. Shannon Tindall, you killed it. ILM as well. Now, Shannon Tindall is the director and writer, I believe, and ILM obviously worked on the animation. Um, but saying off the bat that this is one of the best cinema outings of the year is high praise, and I really hope it definitely meets those standards. But uh, next one we have comes from Callie's adventures with superman you guys should watch my adventures with superman that was a tangent but like that show is really great but anyways uh they say social media embargo lifted for ultraman rising so i can tell you that this movie is super fun with kick-ass action and an adorable baby kaiju i can't wait i need me a baby kaiju in my life yeah, I mean, Ultraman's gonna be father of the year, I guess. But uh, the next one we have comes from Rick Ellis saying, The review embargo doesn't expire until Friday morning, but Netflix's Ultraman Rising is a surprising, delightful, and unexpectedly touching film. That's about like the third person we've, we've heard just talk about the beating heart in this movie. And I couldn't be more happy, you know, while obviously we're there to see big kaiju fight with Ultraman. Um... You know, there's a core to this story that could be incredibly touching to, you know, all kinds of people and resonate with even people who aren't the biggest of Ultraman fans, which kind of makes the movie, you know, pretty not really broad appeal, but really accessible and easy to dive into, uh, which honestly, you know, you won't see me complain about. But uh, the next one we have comes from Zgub saying Ultraman Rising is not only a fantastic film, it is one of the best animated films Netflix has ever made. It is an exciting but emotional flick that definitely will resonate with the audience through its beautiful animation and charismatic cast. The next one we have after that it comes from Rama's screen saying, Ultraman Rising was terrific. I had a blast watching it. The animation quality was pristine. The story was deep. The characters were engaging and the themes landed just in time to celebrate this year's Father's Day. Not gonna lie, I kinda choked up a bit at the end. I never realized how great of a pairing this would be on Father's Day, but now that someone mentioned it, um, I believe this is releasing around that time, so like that's that's really, really perfect. Um, but uh, the next one we have comes from Cameron Ward saying, Since the social media embargo has lifted, I can finally talk about it. Overall, Shannon Tindall's Ultraman Rising is an emotionally powerful adventure with the heart and soul as big as our giant hero, easily one of my favorite films of the year. Cannot wait to watch this. I want to see where it stacks up against other movies I've seen this year and how high it ranks. Um, but we're going to cover a couple more and then close this one out. Uh, the next one we have comes from David Oppie or Opie. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. But uh, they said 
Ultraman Rising is a gorgeous family film that does Ultraman's legacy justice and also serves as a great jumping point for new fans too. What Shannon Tindall and the team have created is so full of heart. I'm so glad that he mentioned how, you know, newer audiences that aren't really used to or kind of familiar with the Ultraman IP can jump into this and can be, you know, accessible to this movie without having to need or have prior knowledge of Ultraman. That's really good to hear. Uh, Kate Sanchez, though, says Ultraman Rising is perfect. Wow, just straight to the point. It's big, grand when it comes to action and intimate when it comes to emotional family storytelling. There's truly nothing like it. It is the best animated film this year and one of the best films I've seen in 2024. That's another person giving it high praise. But uh, we're going to end it off with a couple more. Tessa Smith over at Mama's Geeky. Great channel over there. You guys should check her out. She says, Ultraman Rising is my introduction to Ultraman and I love this movie. Not only is it visually stunning, it's packed with action and tons of emotion. As both a child and a parent, a lot of key moments and themes resonated with me. Great voice cast, I'm obsessed with Emmy. Is Emmy the, the baby kaiju? I'm guessing that's the baby kaiju because, uh, yeah. That baby kaiju looks absolutely adorable from all the promo, the trailers, and all the marketing that I've seen absolutely adorable but we're gonna go ahead and cover one more coming from michael lee saying ultraman is a visually stunning love letter to the iconic japanese hero whose legacy spans nearly six decades the beautiful parent and child story viewed through the lens of tokusatsu and a kaiju lens has emotional depth and the way it portrays the asian and mixed asian experience is outstanding wow I mean, there was a lot to cover in there, and the fact that they're touching on these kinds of things is really surprising. I mean, it seems like Netflix really smashed it out of the park with this one, and hopefully they did. Uh, obviously, I'll definitely put out a review, and you'll hear my thoughts once I get to watch Ultraman Rising, but it sounds very promising. Obviously, multiple people talking about its beating heart, the action and uh, how it's one of the best films of 2024 which i love to hear but you guys let me know in the comments below your thoughts on these reactions are you excited for ultraman are you a new ultraman fan or uh, do you know ultraman at all anything i love discussing with you guys down there and if you made it this far and you haven't please hit that like button subscribe and click that bell it helps out the channel a ton but uh, other than that guys i love you and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one